We're going to continue our discussion of object-oriented programming in Scala with abstract classes, method overloading, and the special apply method. All right, so let's start out with abstract classes. So on line one here, we are uh, defining an abstract class called mammal. In the mammal class, we're setting the warm-blooded value equal to true, the Boolean value. On line five, we're defining a separate class called pig, which is extending from the mammal class. This means that pig is inheriting all the methods and values and variables defined in the ma mammal class. On line seven, we are uh, creating a Miss Piggy variable, and we're assigning that to an instance of the pig class. Again, we use the, the new keyword to instantiate the class. And then on line nine, we are using this Miss Piggy instance. We're calling the warm blooded method, and that's going to return true. Let's uh, verify that. So we'll do Scala 01. So we can see that the code is working as expected, and it returns true. So what's the difference between an abstract class and a regular class? If we just made this class mammal, this is going to return true as well. What's the difference? Uh, the difference is that an abstract class cannot be instantiated directly. So let's uh, cat this out. Let's paste this into the console, and I'll show you what I mean. So paste this into the console. So we can see we can do new pig. That's no problem. We can instantiate pig class. But if we do new mammal, it errors out. It says that class mammal is abstract, cannot be instantiated. So that's the difference. Uh, a regular class can be directly instantiated, and a, an abstract class can only we can only inherit from an abstract class in order to instantiate it. All right, so let's move on to the next example. All right, so this is method overloading. Um, so method overloading is when you have multiple methods that have the same name in a given class. In this example, we have the whatever class. Whatever has two blob methods. The first one uh, takes a string as an argument the second one takes an integer as an argument. So when we have an instance of the whatever class and we call the blah method, if we pass it a string, it's going to return I like words. If we pass it an integer, it's going to return numbers are fun. So we can add a print line here. Uh, a print line here. I am in Montreal at the moment, and it is the loudest city ever, so I'm <laughs> so distracted trying to make this. So basically, with this first print line is going to return, I like words. The reason that's the case is because blah is being passed an argument that's a string. Then it's going to print, I, numbers are fun, because it's uh, being, uh, the method is being called with an integer argument. Let's see that in action. Scala 02. All right, so we can see that that worked. I like words is printed first, and then numbers are fun are printed. Let's uh, print this in the console. Put this in the console so we can play with it a little, a little bit more. That doesn't work. Cat it out. All right. Put this in the console. All right, so we have w, w is an instance of the whatever class. We do w dot blah uh, 99. We can see that numbers are fun is returned. So when we are uh, using an integer argument, this, this blah is used. When we use a string argument, so let's do happy or happed. I like words is returned, and if we pack, pass a different argument, let's say we pass a boolean argument, 
we get a error and it says overloaded method method value blah with alternatives string and integer and that's actually a really good error message Scala Scala has fantastic error messages um, all right so that's overloading uh, methods I read that it's kind of frowned upon to do that so proceed with caution all right let's move on to the final topic of this presentation which is the special method in Scala called apply. Um, so here we have a cloud class. Uh, cloud it defines this apply method, which I just said is a special method. And apply returns a string floating. Uh, on line seven here, we're creating an instance of the cloud class using the new keyword, and we're assigning it to the variable C. Uh, and then we're calling c.apply. All right, so let's call this code uh, Scala03. So here we can see that the string floating is returned. Up until now, this, this is pretty expected. This is what we'd, we would expect to see. So the reason apply is special is because it's, it's going to be used when no method is specified. So if we delete this, so now we just have C kind of being called with no method. We can see that floating will be returned as well. And apply is the only method where that special uh, behavior uh, is present. So we covered abstract classes, we covered method overloading, and we covered uh, the apply method in Scala. These are all fundamental uh, concepts for object-oriented programming in Scala.